Hey everyone, I'm talking about my experiment this month, August, which I'm calling All Gut, because it's all about my gut. It's all about leaky gut, how to heal it, microbiome, and how to heal it. All the problems that can come from poor gut health, like bloating, cramps, um, poor nutrient absorption, inflammation in the gut and around the body, autoimmune problems, and ultimately, of course, what I care most about mental disorders, um, anxiety, depression, and uh, neuroinflammation. So it all starts in the gut. You know, uh, a lot of medical researchers talk about the inside of the body starting it, at the other side of the gut barrier between the gut and the uh, systemic bloodstream. And what happens in normal function is that the, um, the small intestine uh, takes the digested food and allows nutrients into the bloodstream uh, through a system of gates, which are called tight junctions, and they open and close in an exquisitely orchestrated manner to allow the appropriate things through. But there's lots of things in our environment including food, stress, pollution, and various other things, which can inappropriately open those gates and let things through which shouldn't be there, which causes all sorts of problems. And it makes me think, you know, why did a ketogenic diet help me so much with my mental health? And part of it may be that um, the kind of short chain fatty acids, which are really good for the gut, your butyrate, for example, um, is abundant in a ketogenic diet. So you do get this healing property of a ketogenic diet. Obviously, there's other proposed mechanisms for why ketogenic diets work, work so well for mental health, uh, not least the fact that the brain loves ketones as fuel over and above uh, glucose, especially if you have spent years spiking your ins insulin and your brain doesn't... Um, uh, use glucose so effectively. Um, but also you find that when people are on ketogenic diets, their infl you know, their inf inflammatory levels are just lower. So any of these, um, potential reasons, uh, can explain why a ketogenic diet can help with mental disorders. But for some people it doesn't, it doesn't help fully. And, um, it's, it's a still an open question about why that is. So, um, Part of it for me is about what's going on in the gut. And when you get this leaky gut, uh, whether it's from eating gluten or dairy or lectins in various foods um, or having constant stress, you know, maybe from having a traumatic background um, or from leading a stressful life, environmental pollution, uh, pollutants, that kind of thing, um, you let things that are in the gut into the bloodstream that shouldn't be there. So that could be that could be bacteria, that could be endotoxins that are produced by bacteria, that could be parts of food that's not properly digested. Um, any of these things can get through and the immune system, which is very active in the gut and around the gut in the bloodstream there, um, sees what is in your system and attached to you know, your own tissue now and attacks it and begins to see your own tissue as an invader. And that's where autoimmune comes from. And you can imagine that seeing this, uh, you know, all of these um, potential invaders everywhere inappropriately and attacking them and uh, leading to inflammation can give you this chronic inflammation. And that, that in that environment in the gut, uh, where maybe your microbiome ends up being in dysbiosis, where there's uh, an imbalance in the uh, the microbes that are there, uh, you know, and the viruses and the and the, the yeasts and so on, um, which you'll always find in the gut, um, and even in the small intestine where you can get bacterial overgrowth where it shouldn't be, that you can end up with nutrient malabsorption, where sometimes the bacteria is inappropriately stealing nutrients. Um, and sometimes 
your immune system is attacking um, your body in a way uh, and your microbiome in a way that means that you are not producing the right um, chemicals and enzymes to properly fuel the digestive process in the first place. So you end up in this big vicious cycle of leaky gut, autoimmune, inflammation all over the body, nutrient malabsorption, uh, microbiome dysbiosis, and small intestinal bacterial overgrowth a lot of the time. And similarly to the tight junctions in the gut, you've got tight junctions in the brain. And it's the, they're, they're extremely similar. And the kind of attacks that you find on the gut barrier can also happen in the blood brain barrier. And you can get into the same vicious cycle there. So diet can help, clearly. You know, you're seeing that with clinical results, whether it's from uh, Dr. Georgia Ede, Chris Palmer, or my colleague at MetSci, Dr. Rachel Brown, um, or my work with clients, that people are getting better from mental disorders when they uh, use a ketogenic diet. Some people don't feel fully better, and some people gut flares up again badly as soon as they start eating other things again. So what are you meant to do? This month, I'm testing Biome Site, which is a microbiome sequencing kit that tells you what your balance of gut bacteria is like. And it's a young science. It can only tell you so much. But if you take the results and plug them into microbiome prescription, then you can get an idea of what probiotic or probiotics you might be able to use to influence what's going on in the gut which is one of the most competitive environments on earth where the microbes compete for dominance and you, what you want is balance. So there's plenty of ways that you can try to affect what's going on in the gut. Um, but I'll talk this month more about what I'm doing. So I'm going to take a probiotic that's targeted based on my biome site results. I'm going to take some, uh, supplements which will help to build my uh, my gut properly um, and I'm just going to be very careful as I usually am about what I'm eating to avoid gut dysbiosis, small intestinal bacterial overgrowth and leaky gut. So I'll do a walkthrough of the biome site uh, results testing and the microbiome prescription site um, I'll show you what supplements I'm taking and why, and I'll show you how I go through this process with clients, and we'll just keep the discussion going about why gut health can equal mental health.